and tragedy hits a local town. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Shay McAllister. Two teens are dead. Two others seriously hurt after a horrific crash in Elizabethtown. It happened on US 31 last night as several law enforcement agencies were in pursuit of 36 year old Sean Welsh. Police say as Welsh attempted to drive through an intersection, he slammed into another car, killing 18 year old Jacob Barber and a 17 year old girl. Two other young people were seriously hurt. And 11 out of 11's Dennis Ting went to Elizabethtown. And Dennis, what are we learning about these people tonight? Well, Shay. Kentucky State Police are still investigating the crash, but there are still a lot of questions that are unanswered, like why police were chasing the man in the first place. But what we do know is that two people are in jail and two teens are dead. It was at this intersection in Radcliffe where US 31 and State Road 434 meet, where a police chase ended in a deadly crash. All that's left of Saturday evening seen crushed glass in the middle of the road. Tragic events can happen like this when someone fails to uh, you know, abide by instructions by a police officer. Kentucky State Police is investigating the crash after 36-year-old Sean Welsh led law enforcement officers on a cross-county chase, which ended when he drove his car into another car, killing two of the people inside. Obviously, it is tragic. Uh, they were attempting to cross the intersection and when they were struck. Trooper Scotty Sharp says the chase began in Meade County with deputies from the Meade County Sheriff's Office and officers from the Radcliffe Police Department and the Vine Grove Police Department chasing Welsh. Sharp says Welsh was driving south when he hit the car driven by 18 year old Jacob Barber, killing Barber and a 17 year old girl. Two other passengers in Barber's car were taken to the hospital with life threatening injuries. We never want this to happen. This is tragic events. But it is one of those things that uh, you know we, we tell people you just gotta you just gotta do what you're told and stop because in the long run you, you only cause more problems for you and a heartbreak for other people as well. Police arrested Welsh and his passenger, 36-year-old Laura Neville of West Virginia. Neville is booked in the Hardin County Detention Center, charged with possessing methamphetamine and on a fugitive warrant. Sharp says Welsh is in the custody of the Meade County Sheriff's Office, though it's unclear what he'll be charged with at this time. I don't know if, if KSP will carry in those charges. Uh, if we do, it will be in regards to the, the collision itself. I do not know about Meade County's charges. Now, I did ask Trooper Sharp about the police pursuit policies, but he said he couldn't speak to the different agencies' policies. Now, we have reached out to the Meade County Sheriff's Office, Vine Grove Police Department, and Radcliffe Police Department about their policies, and we are waiting on a response. We have also reached out to the Meade County officials multiple times this evening. For more information and for Welsh's booking photo, they tell us they won't be able to release anything until tomorrow. Dennis Ting, 11 at 11.